from the very beginning of the clash. Uh, this is the summer of 1976. So this is just to kind of give a flavour of what was going on. I don't really like this table thing here, so I'm going to move it back a bit. There. Thanks, Shreve, better now. So this is July 1976. By now, Mick Jones, in a relationship with Viv Albertine of the Slits, was staying for much of the time with Stella, his grandmother, his nan, in the 18th floor tower block flat in Wilmcote House on the Harrow Road that became part of Clash mythology. Less than 10 minutes from walk from Orsett Terrace, where Joe was squatting right, left, beneath and along the west road right again, and Joe would go over there to work with his songwriting partner. The lifts never work in those flats. That's the worst thing about them, he once complained to me. Mick Jones would reciprocate by visiting Orsett Terrace, whereby now not only Paul, Paul Simonon of course, and occasionally Sid Vicious were living, but also Keith Levine, who was at that point was the fifth member of the Clash, the guitarist. Joe and I had an understanding between ourselves, said Paul, <coughs> that stemmed back from when we were living together in Orsett Terrace, and Mick was living with his nan. Living with someone like that, you get to really know and understand each other. So, at the bottom line, there was always a certain separation between me and Joe and Mick. However, Mick Jones and Joe Strummer began to work as a true songwriting partnership with established methodology. We're out fast, said Joe. We'd fire off each other. Mick said, I think we should have a song called Career Opportunities. So I said, right, you and Paul go down to Kentucky and get some potato croquettes. And I just banged the lyric up while they were out. When they came back, we'd bang it into a tune. Or Mick would. He was a good tunesmith. We did career opportunities, said Mick, when we were sitting in Joe's squat in the ice cream factory around the back of Harrow Road. There was the three of us. Paul was looking through the evening standard. He had a classified advertisement section, career opportunities. He said... What about career opportunities? Mick had plenty of ideas for songs left over from his time with his previous groups, and Joe would write lyrics to match the music of these. On other occasions, he would write out a set of words on his own, to which, to which Mick would then match music, or they would write together at rehearsal rehearsals. Bernie's input was direction, not content. That's Bernie Rose, the manager, of course, said Joe which can be one and the same thing. He said, write about what's important. He steered us away from lovey-dovey stuff like She's Sitting at the Party, which was a song that Mick Jones already had written. I think because he realized